Tim has a great presence that he brings in the goal behind you. If your guy does get a shot off on you, you know he's going to be back there helping you out. Sometimes you hit a volley that comes off your, your foot so well. It's looking like it's going in the top corner and he just comes out of nowhere and tips it. I started when I was six years old. A recreation team down at the local park and played on that for a few years until I was nine. I qualified for the traveling team and so I went to tryouts and I got the phone call and I made the traveling team and from there I just played on a bunch of select teams around New Jersey and the training that I got was absolutely incredible. I was training with four and five other goalkeepers who were older than me who were the best goalkeepers in the state and in the, in the region and, and then right out of high school uh, for one season I played for a US ISL team, the North Jersey Imperials. And that was just for one season, and on the back of that season, I was picked up by New York, and then that was the journey of, of really my professional career, starting then. Anyone who knows me intimately will tell you that I'm as competitive as they come, and to compete, and to compete at the highest level, to be in that arena, that's what drives me on. If someone gets a shot off too easy, you can see him yelling at the defender, saying, we need to be tighter. You need to get closer, that's crap, we can't afford that. He doesn't like what you've done, he'll let you know about it, and he'll let you know about it quite often. I'm very, very demanding. When I say something, I want it done. It's the heat of the moment, and I may only have that much time to get my point across so I don't want it to be hey by the way can you do this for me there's nothing personal like that you know you say what you want you get it done and you move on and, you know off the field and we're hanging out I had heard that there was some interest from uh, Manchester United I wasn't at all nervous I was very 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 excited just that level of excitement that wow whether this works out or not I am you know on people's minds that was a crazy kind of realization when he first went to United, he was doing really great. And then he went through a tough patch. You're asked to perform at the ultimate level. And I think a lot of players, you'll find, have had problems with that. Because there is going to be this big wave, uh, probably of disappointment and a struggle. But once you get over that hump, that's when you really um, reap the rewards. But you have, to, you have to allow yourself the opportunity to go through those struggles. He went to Everton. and picked up that form again and, and the whole time he's been in Everton he's, he's, he's done really well. When you play for a club like Everton, if you're a quality player and you're coming to help them, they're going to welcome you with open arms. He broke a record for, for shutouts in Everton history. We knew as a defense collectively we were nearing that mark and, and to break it at, at such a historic club like Everton is a pretty awesome feeling. You have to be consistently good. It's not about making the amazing save. It's the little things, it's the small things that make great goalkeepers great. At the moment, we have a collection of players who are coming over here now who are playing big roles on teams and are playing important minutes. And you know, all across Europe, in England and France and in Germany, you're hoping more Americans will get uh, even more opportunities than we have had to come over and, and play on some really big teams in, in some amazing places and play important minutes. Mm -hmm.